How's it going, lads? Marshall here, and welcome to another review on the channel. This is the first of two uploads today, so keep an eye out on the channel for a versus later on tonight. But right now, we're focusing on a review, and it is the Austrian from West Ham. It is Marco Arnautovic, Arnie himself. So, lads, if you do enjoy this review, smash it like and it's straight away. Let's aim for a thousand likes, and if you do want any cheap MSP, PSN, or even game codes, head on over to gnua.com, use that code M89. Every single link that you will need is right there in the description below. So, as you can see there, I've got him as a left forward. I did play him as left forward in some of the games. In other games, I played him as a striker because he's got all the attributes to be a great striker on this game. He's got 84 pace, 86 shooting, 86 passing, 88 dribbling, and 87 physical, including 91 strength. So, lads, without any further ado, let's see what he's like. So, here we go then, lads. Now, this is Marco Arnautovic's third in form. Now, he's had an in form as a left mid, as a central card, which was his 86, and now he's got this 87 rating left-hand sided card but I will say convert him to a striker well you can't convert him to a striker but in game move him to a striker and he'll be just as cost effective as the central card because the central card as you know costs roughly like 60,000 coins so this one costs between 60 and 70 so there isn't too much difference in terms of value but in terms of stats there is a world of difference it's been plus two in a lot of different categories and this card just looks phenomenal as I did say before now he's got 11 times in 10 games mostly in foot champions and two assists he's got four star skills four star weak foots medium medium work rates. He's six foot four tall and he's got 73 jumping. Now, you might look at the jumping and think he's not going to get off the ground. Lads, he's six foot four. He doesn't need to get off the ground. He's got great height and he towers over nearly every single defender I've come up against and this guy in the air Wow, I know he's only got 80 uh, head and accuracy, but in the air, this guy scores headers. And in this review, in a short while, I'll show you like a cheat code into how to score headers from in and around the area. I don't know, headers from outside the area, you're taking the bloody pace. But in terms of stats, phenomenal pace. Well, I don't say phenomenal pace. It's actually adequate pace. 82 acceleration, 85 sprint speed. The shooting is 86. It looks sensational, including 90 shot power. Passing, dribbling, physical of 91. The strength is 91. I mean, it's just crazy, man. Just crazy. Now, watch the bar at the bottom of your screen for the header. How much power I put on that between two and three bars. The higher of the two, so like the two and a half. So between two and a half and three bars. And you'll score headers like you've just seen there in the background. A cracking header from right on the edge of the area from Marco Arnautovic. So that was when he was playing left forward because... I wanted to try the back post crosses because, as you know, in this game, they are very overpowered right now where you put, like, uh, nearly full bar, like, uh, bars of power on the cross or you just stand it up like that. Look at that header, man. That is crazy for Marco and out of age. And he can do that time after time. In this game, I scored, like, a hat-trick of headers with him just because I was literally trying it in Division 1 just to see what he was like in the air. This guy is broken in the air. He is literally broken in the air. As you see, a lovely pass layoff to Rude Hullet there in their seasons as well. He receives the ball back rather fortuitously off the defender, but it's a great finish at the end of it due to the shot power that he does possess. And finishing actually isn't too bad either. So in terms of the best stats on the card, you're looking at 90 shot power, 91 dribble, and that is fantastic. The dribbling itself looks phenomenal, and his dribbling is actually quite good. It's strong, but as I say, it's a slow dribble. You would have seen the cards just before. It's a slow dribble. It's not clunky or anything like that, but it is quite slow kind of getting going, where the ball, you can't shimmy it from side to side to side to side, if you know what I'm saying. But um, yeah, it's just great as he completes that hat-trick in terms of scoring those headers in that game. I'm pretty sure that was the same game anyway. Is. So Hedden is a pro. It's definitely a pro. It's the number one pro. It's a fantastic pro and he is great in the air. His height is what allows him to do that. He's six foot four, as I've said many times in this review, and he towers over nearly every single fullback. If you play him as a left winger or a left forward, he towers over the fullback all the time. If you play him as a striker, again, he towers over the most centre backs on this game because not all of them are like six foot four plus. Normally they're like six foot one, six foot two. So being six foot four is a world of difference. And ask any lady in any inch, it does matter. Strength is fantastic. He's got 91 strength. He bodies a lot of players off this ball. Well, a lot of players off the ball. I should say and he's just great look at that finish by the way bicycle kick inside the area fantastic the shot power on the card is great it is 90 so you can just blast them from distance blast them inside the area long shot stat was good as well so um, yeah if you just get in range just smash it with out of it. don't go for the curve or anything like that just bloody bang it the agility on the card isn't great but again it isn't too bad now I don't think that's what contributes to the slow dribble on the card it's just um it's just the way on out of it is he's quite stocky he's quite slow in the dribble but he's great at dribble and due to the strength and the bounce is a con in itself the position on the card 
bad. It's got medium to medium work rate, so he does kind of respond to all your little instructions in game, getting behind, press the back line, like stuff like that. Yeah, he responds very well, and he does do what you want him to do. So in terms of the skills and stuff, four star combo, four star skills, four star weak foot, fantastic bloody card. So in terms of the rating, he's gonna get a good rating because I did enjoy the card. He did very well in champs for me. He actually did better than Neymar some games where I did uh, have Neymar on the pitch, which will feature in tonight's later video. But um, yeah, Arnautovic did very, very well. So he's gonna get the rating of a 9.1 and a value for coins of a 9.8 because for his price, I fully recommend it. If you're gonna start him as a left forward, Playing a left forward. I mean, he's great at left forward. Or, moving a striker. He's very versatile in terms of the positions that you do play him in. And, uh, the value for coins, definitely, I would recommend you buy this card because he's quite similar in terms of price to his second in form. The 66, uh, I do believe, the 66. The 86 version, I should say. 66. Just imagine an out of it. 66 with these bloody stars. Division's ready, definitely. Champs ready. There is some doubts, but he did very well for me in champs, I should say that. Similar players. Roberto Firmino, Batshuayi, and he Ibrahimovic and you might be thinking uh, they're not left-sided players but I've all got them in for their heading they're all great in the air and out of it is bloody brilliant in the air and use that kind of trick I've told you in today's review if you've got a header and it's stood up for you and you're attacking the ball and that's the key it's sacking the ball from a header do two and a half to three bars of power and it will go in most of the time if not every time because it's a very overpowered move on this game and it's just great in terms of hidden goals and this if you've got a tall player like a Firmino, like a Batshuayi, like a Ibrahimovic, like an Arnautovic Use the header to your fullest and uh, you will reap the rewards. And last, that's going to be it for today's review. I hope you have enjoyed. If you have, once again, bring that bloody hype. Smash the hell out of that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. Click that bell as well. And as always, lads, I will catch you all next time.